We're about ready for our concrete slab in our basements, but first, there are a few items of construction methods that we've used that are specific to pass fence construction. Number one is that we have a continuous layer of insulation. We've used four inches of EPS foam, which gives us an R value of around 17, which is more than most exterior houses. We've also used a termite proof product which prevents those little guys from getting in and burrowing in and living under our slabs. The EPS foam is also resistant to compression so once we've poured all of our concrete down it's not going to deform. One key detail that we've used at the curb and the perimeter around our basement is that we've run it up the walls four inches and four inches thick so that we can make this continuous insulation on the interior side of our concrete walls, eliminating any sort of thermal bridges. In standard construction, a slab would just be butting right into the foundation wall, creating a thermal bridge. The other item that we've done is laid a continuous vapor barrier and air barrier everywhere. We've taped all the seams and been very meticulously uh, sealing it to the concrete walls. We've used a primer and then a tape and this makes it continuous air barrier from below our slab up our walls and will continue up. All of our plumbing penetrations have also been meticulously sealed with primer and tape. Around the concrete if there's any sort of cracking that air will not be able to penetrate and leak underneath our floors. We've also had the opportunity to lay some PEX piping for radiant floor heating. We're going to heat the water using a solar thermal system and this will allow us to get a really comfortable basement floor temperature and provide the majority of the heating for the house for a large portion of the year. So we're about ready for some concrete and to get moving on the projects here.